Hey everyone, Mr. Gray 3 is here, and oh my gosh, I want to start off with thanking each and every one of you for helping me reach 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Whoa, I never thought this day would come, especially so quickly. I've been on YouTube for about a year now, and we are actually, as of today, almost at 2,100 subscribers. And y'all support is crazy. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Um, you guys support me both here on YouTube and on Instagram so much, and it means the world to me. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to ceramic coat your car, specifically using Avalon Kings Armor Shield Nano Ceramic Coating. Uh, this is what I have my entire car coated in and my wheels as well and windows and everything you can coat everything in this uh, Even your interior trim. It's a good trim restorer. It's a good water repellent as you can see it rained last night and That water is just beating up on the car one gust of wind and it's all gonna come off um, This ceramic coating is amazing uh, Like I said my whole car is coated in it and I definitely recommend this coating and with ceramic coating and reaching 2000 subscribers i am going to be giving away one of these kits this kit comes with one bottle of ceramic coating which can do about a vehicle and a half and an applicator pad with a microfiber cover for it and a microfiber cloth which is under this there you go uh, this is about a 75 dollar kit and I'm going to be giving one away to a lucky subscriber. So to win that kit, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed, which if you're watching, I'm sure you are. Uh, go ahead, give this video a like. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of your likes. But the most important step is in the comments section, just go ahead and tell me what your favorite video of mine is. Not only is this a cool way for me to kind of talk with you guys and respond about what my favorite videos are in common with yours, um, but it's also a good way for me to see what you guys really like and see what the majority of you choose and what some of you choose differently than others. Um, but as long as you are subscribed, you like this video and you leave me a comment, tell me what your favorite video of mine is, you will be entered into the giveaway. There's one entry per subscriber. Um, and I will contact you within two weeks of this video posting. So make sure you get your entry in and you could be a winner of that full ceramic coating kit. All right, so to get to today's video, uh, like I said, my car is already fully ceramic coated. Uh, this coating will last, I think they say maybe five to seven years, but I recommend recoating, especially if you hand wash your car fairly often, maybe after two or three years. So my car, it's been about a year and a half, so I don't need to recoat it. But for the sake of this video, I am actually going to be coating some new parts. The process I use to coat these carbon fiber fenders right here is going to be the same process you'd use to coat any part of your car. A quick overview of what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to start out with clay barring the surface. Uh, this second part is optional, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, we're going to compound then polish our surface. Uh, this acts as a paint correction to remove any scratches or swirls before we put a nice coating over it. And once we compound and polish the surface, we're going to go ahead and clean it one last time with some isopropyl alcohol. Then we can go ahead and coat it. And you might not be able to tell, but I'm holding in my excitement. I got some carbon fiber fenders. Whoa, these are the Tansel Work carbon fiber fenders. Um, for anything on their website, you can use code gray through is to get 10% off anything, anything on the website, including these. Um, but oh my gosh, I have the greatest friend ever. His name is Cody, also known as Cody through is on Instagram. Um, unfortunately, he did have an accident with his Lexus recently, and he ended up never installing these fenders that he bought for that car. And he was nice enough to let me have these fenders for the sake of keeping them on a nice gray 3IS. Um, he knew they were going to go to a nice home, and I really appreciate that, Cody. Thank you so much. Uh, he had a gray 3IS as well. And we're going to keep the legend of Cody living onto my car. Um, 
He's such a great guy. Thank you so much, Cody. Alrighty, so let's get started. Uh, first things first, before you do any clay barring or polishing or anything of that sort, you want to clean your surface. So get your nice bucket of soap and water and wash your car down, wash the whole surface, get all that dirt and grime off. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be giving them a wipe down with isopropyl alcohol to start with because these are brand new fenders. They have not been used whatsoever. If you see any little residue, that's because I took the tape off of it that was holding all the protective lining on it. So while you guys wash yours, I am going to wipe mine down with some isopropyl alcohol. All right, we got them all cleaned off. Um, and keep in mind, the cleaning process right off the bat is not gonna get every single piece of uh, little dirt and grime and iron deposit and all that stuff off of there. That's what the clay bar is for. Um, I am going to be using Chemical Guys medium strength clay bar, um, and it's fairly easy to use. I'll show you how to use it. The only other thing you need is a lube of some sort. So if you want to use like a quick detailer, that works. Uh, for me, I'm using soapy water. It's just car wash soap and water. Uh, and I'm going to spray it down and clay bar the surface. All right, so you just want to spray down your surface and spray down the clay in your hand. And pretty much all you're going to do is go like this. Rub back and forth, back and forth. And if you hear something rough, that means it's picking it up. And you're just going to rub over that surface very lightly. You don't have to put a lot of pressure until it feels smooth. And then you know that particle is lifted. And you're going to do this over the entire vehicle. Anything you want to coat because uh, you don't want any contaminants stuck under the coating that could prevent uh, the adhesion of it or lock them under the coating for a long time. And I know you can't tell on video, but as I go over this one spot, it is getting so smooth. It's like butter. I can rub my finger and it's so dang smooth. So you just do that over the entirety of your car, in my case, the entirety of this panel, and you're done with the contaminant removal step. All right, and once you got the whole panel clayed down, you can go ahead and wipe it off. And already it's looking super nice, like glass. And after the clay bar step, you want to make sure you have your panels really dry because you don't want your compound polish or even ceramic coating to have any water intercept with what they're doing. So whether it means you need to leave your parts out in the sun or you need to give them a very thorough wipe down, or even in my case, what I'm going to do is spray it down with compressed air to get any water out of cracks and crevices. Do so because you do not want any water interfering with the next steps. They're looking so good already. I am so excited to get them on my car. I can imagine them already. Okay, on to the next step. Uh, you guys do not have to do this one if you wouldn't like to. Uh, I am going to make it DIY friendly. The next step is compounding and polishing your surface. You can use an orbital or random orbital polisher if you're comfortable with that or you have one. I do have one, but for the sake of making this DIY friendly, I'm going to be using my good old hands. Uh, and we're just going to be using a polishing and compound pad and we're going to apply it by hand. All right, this is pretty simple. Um, you can use whatever compound and polish you would like, but I'm going to use Meguiar's Ultimate Compound and Polish. Um, this helps remove deep scratches and swirls, and this will create slight, slight marring in the paint, but that is, or sorry, the clear coat, but that is what the polish is for afterwards, is to polish what this leaves out. So it should look perfect, like glass, after you use these two. All right, so first things first, always shake it up. And what we're going to do is apply a small amount to the edge of this pad. And it's fairly simple. All you're gonna do is kind of dab it around the panel. And then from here, you're going to work it in in circular motions, going up, down, left, right, you know, work it in, work it in. And once you're done working this in, you're gonna buff it out with a microfiber towel. All right, now this is worked all into the panel and we're going to take your microfiber and just buff it out. 
Oh my gosh, you can see me already. <laughs> um, and you can already tell just from the compound, not even the polish. It is crazy shiny. And it feels so good. And it looks so good. Very nice. And repeat this process to the entirety of your car if you'd like to. And I'll see you in the next clip when I am doing the polish. Okay, the panel is all compounded. And ooh, that is a workout, I'll tell you what. Um, so next step is to polish it. It's gonna be the same process, except using their ultimate polish. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply it to our applicator. First, shake it up. Then apply it to the applicator pad. Just like that. And then from here, we can dab it onto the surface. And go ahead and rub it in. Left, right, up, down, in circular motions, just like before. And once it's all rubbed in, go ahead and buff it out with your microfiber towel, just like last time. All right, and I'm finishing buffing out this polish, and it looks amazing. You can see me. Hello. <laughs> um, let me get a different angle on this. It is very nice. That clear coat is shining, and dang. Yeah, this is definitely that little, that little touch that will make your car stand out from the others. So just like compound, go ahead and do it to the entirety of the car, in my case, the entirety of this panel. And then after that, we can clean it off with some isopropyl and get the ceramic coating. All right, my panel is all compounded and polished and it is looking immaculate. Oh my gosh, amazing. Um, it's crazy what a little compound and polish can do. It looks brand new times two. <laughs> um, so from here, the last step before ceramic coating is to wipe the entire panel down one more time with isopropyl alcohol, uh, just in case you missed any of the compound or polish residue when you were buffing it off. Um, and once we're done with that, we can get to coating, which is super easy. All right, so I'm gonna get my towel all alcoholy. That wasn't too much, let's do a little more. Be a little messy with it. And from here, just like before when I did it, wipe down every surface of the panel, make sure it's completely clean. All right, y'all, I wiped down both panels completely with isopropyl alcohol, and look at this. This was a clean cloth beforehand. This is why you wipe it down before coating it. It looks super nice, but there's gonna be some hidden dirt or grime somewhere. But now we are super clean, ready to coat. All right, so in the ceramic coating box, we have a few things. We have this applicator pad, the coating itself, and it has this little side window so you can see how much is in there. As you can see, it's full. And a little microfiber cloth, a thicker plush microfiber cloth, and some gloves and stickers. Um, I'm going to be using these gloves. You can use those gloves, it's fine. They're the same thing, but pretty much, uh, what's going to happen is we're going to take this cloth and wrap it around this applicator pad like that and we're going to dab some of this ceramic coating onto it. We're going to apply it in a cross hatch motion. So up, down, left, right. We want to cover all the panels evenly um, because if you're not familiar with how a ceramic coating works, it applies wet and then it flashes and it will turn into a dry layer. Um, a hard dry layer over the top of whatever you apply it on that is hydrophobic. It helps with acid rain deflection. It helps with keeping dust off, uh, iron deposits off. It's, it's great. Uh, it's overall a very nice thing to have on your car. And even if you have some micro scratches in your paint, this will actually help fill in and level those to make your paint seem overall more shiny. It's kind of interesting. Um, so I'm going to show you how to apply it to one spot of this panel right here and you're gonna use that same technique to apply it over the entire car. And this kit comes with three of these uh, microfiber cloths and 
The reasoning for that is because once you use a cloth, once the ceramic coat a surface or your car or something, it pretty much just like a surface that you're ceramic coating, the coating dries within this cloth. So if you were to try and use this again, it would scratch the surface of your paint. So you pretty much want to throw this out once you're done with it. Uh, you can reuse this applicator pad because you're not directly putting the coating onto here. This is just, as you can see, it's kind of squishy. So it moves within the uh, angles and crevices of whatever you're coating. But you do want to throw away these once you're done. Um, yeah, just a quick reminder. All right, so I'm going to lay this towel on top of this pad just like that and wrap it around the edges so when i hold it it's pretty much taking the shape of the pad and that's going to be the surface we're applying the coating to so we can go ahead and this is a little hard to do with one hand but it's on top of here i took the top off of the coating pop this little seal and you don't need too much you just put a couple little dabs onto here just like that close this and we're going to grab it like this and apply it in a cross hatch motion. So we're going to go up down up down and then left to right. And you can kind of see the hazing of it. Um, it's easier to see with your eyes but this hazing is going to kind of show you uh, where you applied it and where you didn't apply it and that hazing is also going to turn more of a like metallic color once it flashes and once it flashes is when you're supposed to buff it off with this microfiber towel so fairly simple in a couple moments I think about like 30 seconds to a minute or so we're gonna take that towel and just buff it off like you would do with your compound or polish and a little goes a long way with this ceramic coating. I applied, like I showed you in the beginning, coating to this cloth twice for this entire panel. And that like metallic-y, oil slick look that I'm talking about, here you can kind of see it. Um, once you see this over the whole panel, you know you can buff it off. And as you can see, right in here, I kind of missed it because that applicator pad doesn't get in there too nicely. For those spots, you can go ahead and put the cloth on your fingers uh, I'd wear gloves for this because it could irritate your hands and go ahead and get in there just like you would with the pad but with your fingers alrighty it's looking pretty flashed and we're gonna go ahead and take your cloth and just buff it off and I mean you can't feel it on camera obviously but right as you start buffing it just feels like glass this just, oh my gosh, it just slides like butter all over it. Amazing what this coating can do and how easy it is. And it's a little hard to see on camera, but you can tell where you have buffed and not buffed because, it, yeah, like I said, it's hard to tell, but the places you haven't will still be kind of metallic-y and the places you have will look like they're not metallic-y. So look at that. Oh, there you go. See that place I haven't buffed? And then here I have buffed out. And you just do that over the entire car. This, this part is really easy and it does a world of a difference. Oh my gosh, it is insane how good this looks. It is crazy, just like that. You have a ceramic coated panel and if you do this to every panel in your car you'll have a ceramic coated car and like i said in the beginning you can do this to your wheels plastic rubber glass so like your windows any painted panel any wrapped panel carbon fiber it works and it protects it and it will make it last i definitely recommend doing this on any vehicle um and you could possibly Get this coating for free if you follow my giveaway instructions. Easy as that. Wow. So I will be installing these fenders really soon. And you might want to keep an eye out on YouTube if you want to know how to install them too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Your support means the world to me. And thank you again for 2,000 subscribers. 
it is crazy how far you guys have helped me come throughout this process of YouTube and Instagram and just supporting me with all this content I'm making around this car. Thank you so much. Um, it is truly life changing. Uh, let me know if you guys have any comments or questions in the comment section. I'll leave a link for the ceramic coating and all the products I use in the description below. Um, for those fenders, if you're interested in these fenders, you can get it from Tansel Works. I'll leave a link for them in the description. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram already, go ahead and check me out at gray underscore three is. If you haven't seen on my Instagram, I got a new license plate. It says gray now with a three for Mr. Gray three is. <laughs> um, and yes, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it seemed like it was a little less intimidating than you maybe thought it was. Ceramic coating is not that hard and it makes washing your car so easy. Other than that, thank you all for watching. This has been Mr. Gray 3IS and I'll see you in the next one.